New Zealand uses a risk-based approach that emphasises safety and accountability for all electrical work. This approach requires you, as an authorised electrician, to categorise the risk of each job you do. In this presentation, the regs refer to the electricity safety regulations. PEW is used for prescribed electrical work and the wiring rules refer to AS NZS 3000 electrical installations. Risk for electrical work is broken down into three categories. Low risk work includes maintenance or replacement PEW, such as replacing a fitting in an existing installation. High risk work is construction PEW. Examples include mains work, low voltage installations that don't comply with part two of the wiring rules, and photovoltaic systems. It also includes installations that are located in hazardous areas, mines, or are intended for use with electrical medical devices, along with animal stunning and meat conditioning appliances. General risk work is PEW that's not categorised as low or high risk. Dave, I'm getting a lot of calls from electricians lately who are not sure about the different risk categories when it comes to a new build. New build's simple because the bulk of the work is general risk with the exception that of the high risk part of it is the mains work up to the distribution board. There's no low risk involved in a new installation? No, no low risk work at all in a new installation. Low risk only covers the replacement and maintenance of fittings. Risk categories go from low to high to general based on the steps required to categorise an installation. First determine if work is low risk. If it isn't, determine if it's high risk. If it isn't low or high risk, you can assume the work is general risk. These categories are important because they determine certification and verification requirements. How do you differentiate between the different categories of prescribed electrical work? Well, I use Regulation 6A as a checklist. If the work is not defined as low risk or high risk, then it must be general. Pretty simple, really. Maintenance, repair and replacement PEW is considered low risk. When done in accordance with manufacturer's instructions or the wiring rules, upgrading is a replacement, which makes it low risk. Upgrading to address increased supply fault rating is also considered a low risk replacement. Upgrades are considered general risk if they include the installation of higher capacity fittings to address increased usage of an installation. For mains work, this becomes high risk. Dave, is all mains work high risk? Not necessarily. For instance, if we're replacing a fitting within a switchboard, that would fall within the definition of low risk. In most cases, installations are considered general Perfect. PEW, except where the regs define them as high risk. Installations include construction, alterations, additions and relocations. All metering replacements are low risk. Installing yeah, new meters yeah. is general risk, except when the work can affect the continuity of the mains neutral or polarity of the mains, then it becomes high risk. There are several types of PEW that are not assigned a risk category and don't require certification. These include reconnections and restoration of power following a disconnection, or isolation to allow safe work to be carried out and PEW on works. Visit the Energy Safety website for more information on determining risk. For more information on training and qualifications, visit the Electrical Workers Registration Board website. As a license holder, you can access related standards through their website, or you can buy them through the Standards New Zealand website.